All right, so right off rip, uh, I haven't posted in a few days. Not sure if any of you pieces of shits even notice. Not sure if any of you care, um, but yeah, I, I've moved. That's, that's kind of why everything's a little bit different. Give me some time to figure it out, but other than that, that's why everything looks a little bit different, why I haven't posted in a couple days. And you know what I noticed in that time? Um, but besides the fact that no one cares, which is perfectly fine, um, Philip DeFranco must be a fan of my, uh, of, of, of us. He must be a fan because... I was watching his latest video, and now his thing is that he threatens to throat punch his subscribers for likes. So I appreciate that. It looks like I started a trend in a new wave of threatening your subscribers for likes. Uh, so welcome, Philip DeFranco. Let's just jump into it. Uh, so yeah, you know, to me, Philip DeFranco, like the throat punch, like it's cool because if you throat punch somebody one time, you get, and they don't say anything back. But then that goes away. When you take someone's dog. <laughs> That's, that's pain for a long time. So if you guys uh, want to see your dogs ever again, or you don't want your dog kidnapped, make sure you hit the like button. But anyways, I haven't posted in a couple days. Uh, I'm going to open some packs in the meantime. If I pull anything out of these packs, that'll be the focus of this video. And if I don't, then I got something a little bit different. But I've been, uh, I, I played on the last day of the season. We got a goal to start off. I didn't mean to do that. We played uh, on the last day of the last season. And I was 869, 870 maybe, 8, 8 something. And I come up against uh, Problem Right. Uh, if you guys don't know Problem, he's very good at MLB The Show. He's a Madden YouTuber. When you're, when, not a Madden YouTuber, Madden streamer, Madden uh, champion. All, he's one of the best Madden players in the world. So shout out to Problem, Problem Right. I came up against him. He was like in the thousands, clo maybe close to 1100. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Um, but I was up like 2-1 to one in the 7th. And he I was in a little bit of trouble. And I got a line drive to center field. And I was trying to actually die for the ball with Mike Trout. And it gave me a different animation. He reached down for it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get out of this jam. And it hits off his glove and bounces away. He scores a run, ties it up in the next inning. My bullpen just, Josh Hader just absolutely crapped it. Uh, and uh, I gave up like three runs. He ended up winning 5-2. And I kept just staying in that area back and forth, back and forth. One game, one game, one game. Uh, one game away from World Series. And I was like, I'm going to be honest. I don't really care that much. The card was going for like 40, 40, 40K stubs. Uh, so I was like, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we're gonna get a gold out of this. Okay. I think, I think that was guaranteed gold, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a ball in this habit, so that's that. But anyways, nothing to take away from problem. He's, he's, when you're good at, the, when you're good at the sticks and you're good at sports game, you're just good. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, uh, shout out to him. Uh, he, he, he streams MLB The Show pretty frequently, and he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, so problem, uh, not, that, that game I was just like, um... I think I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it for World Series hunting, and I left it at that. That's actually not bad because I actually made quite a few stubs back on that. But anyways, and then uh, I had I moved, and one day became two day, two day became three. Next thing you know, uh, it was like Thursday, and I still hadn't been completely set up. But now we're completely set up, and this is the first time I record here. I'm probably just gonna continue to take Domingo Herman since he goes for the most. In all honesty, I'm not really frustrated with the game. I honestly, if I played earlier in the season, I think I ease. I, I could have made World Series if I didn't leave it to the very last day. Uh, I just played like five, six games, and I was just like, you know, it was like it was like halfway through the day to like three o'clock, and I was just like, I really don't want to play anymore. I don't really care that much, uh, so I'm just gonna call it, and that's that. I'm opening five of these. If I don't get one diamond out of these, I'm I'm, I'm I mean, I get it's a one in five chance. But it's not guaranteed. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna get a diamond. And yo, Tyler Glass now goes for 92k. I like I wanna pull. I I I honestly I wanna do a video with Tim Anderson. So I, yo, that's a hundred k. There's no reason not to take Tyler Glass now. Yo, I'm gonna take Glass now, and I think I'm gonna do a video with Tim Anderson. I'm gonna go ahead and buy Tim Anderson. Um, because this shortstop looks really fun. I'm just I'm glad because. I mean, how much, I spent 100k on the packs alone. That's actually a sick pull. 100k stubs. I should just sell it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna be honest. Dude, who wants to see a starting pitcher? These cards go for too damn much. Oh no! Back to back twice. Okay, so I more than made my stubs back. Yo, yo, let's go! I more than made my stub backs. That is lit. Okay, okay. So we gotta talk. Um, so I think I did the math. For, for getting this freaking... Okay, I, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. All right, I, I just made a lot of stubs off two packs alone. 
I just made a lot of stuff. Thanks to Tyler Glass now. But we gotta talk. All right, all right, we gotta talk. Cause I was doing, I was doing a little bit of mathematics. Now I'm not that great a ma mathematician. So I, uh, uh, I did some mathematics. I looked at what you needed, and the prices may have gone up and down since it was early in the morning uh, in the weekend. So we know those prices change a lot during the weekend. Um, so I was looking at it, and the total of it was, it was like 300 and like 30k, 350k for that coat to, to lock in to get that cody bellinger now looking at these prices of the cards they're not worth that much tyler glass now it should not be 114k he's an 87 overall uh starting pitcher how many pitches with four pitches so like i'm gonna look at starting pitches in that range 89 89 starting pitches 16 14 35 15 30 Tyler last now 114, 20, 23, 7, 27. He's really not worth that. But of course, everybody wants that Cody Bellinger. You only get five packs to open them. So the prices are going to stay really, really high. I never do the the, the monthly. I never do those because it's, it's an incredible amount of stubs to lock in. But we did just pull almost 200K on two cards. Let me know. I'd rather not, to be honest. I'd rather save that for when they have more packs because pretty much every Friday, I just put in like 100, 200 bucks and whatever i pull i pull so i think what i'm actually gonna do because i kind of want to get rid of this card because i did buy it for 180k a week ago and then oh no i got him for 163 oh snap that's actually not that i didn't lose that many stubs all right so i bought him for 163 i still have this vlad card i know you guys have seen him but he, he he's got really good hitting stats i have not used this card yet i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw him in the lineup sell him real quick get my stubs and i'm gonna let you guys know what you guys or you guys let me know what you guys want to see next this card is fucking nasty also not worth 330k for one card but this card is disgusting and if you want a shortstop right now this is one of like three cards that like nasty so the one thing i will say is that i i've noticed through playing that i need i need i need i'm, I'm gonna oh, i'm gonna open it right now it actually doesn't make any sense not to i i'm taking madison bumgarner i i, I i'm taking him 100 percent it's 40k stubs. I don't really care because I could buy either or debut them in a video. Again, let me know what cards you want to see debut, well, who you want me to play with. But I want this Madison Bumgarner because I, I think what I've noticed is my starting pitcher in the set my starting pitcher in the seventh inning has just screwed me over. I just need him to get through one more inning and I'll be fine and I'll work my whole bullpen eight and nine. That I I, I notice it when it, when the games are sweaty and I'm not commentating. I'm sitting down. I I don't actually don't hate the game. It was actually kind of fun to play. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was just it was a little bit sweaty and I needed to actually be a little bit focused because I'm not that good. But it's it's not bad. So like I'm not I'm actually still enjoying the game. That's not why I haven't played in a while. And the thing that I'm trying to say is that I'm 110% taking um playing kershaw when i hit level 40 silver and then when i hit level 80 silver i'm 100 taking nolan ryan i want those 399 starting pitchers in my rotation might as well open these up i doubt there's anything in them hold up dude that's 21,000 stubs i did not expect that at all get in boy why would you have the first option as quick sell why i almost did it all right so i'm looking at my eras and seeing who has to go not that it matters because i think I, like i said i think i'm adding two people within the next video or so Vita Blue, I've gotten it down a little bit, but 2.91, I've, I've been hit or miss. I need that 99 Clayton Kershaw, like ASAP. Chris Sale, 2.74. DeGrom, 3.14. And Spawn, 2.49. I was going to say take out DeGrom, but Spawn just takes too long to throw it. And as you guys have noticed, I lose, I thought it was 99, 98. I lose my focus and start looking away in the middle of his pitching. And yeah. But anyways, I've taken entirely long to even get this video started. I don't know how much, I don't, blah, 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 not important. Here's the lineup I'm going with. I, I am going to have Vlad playing first base. I don't really care to have him at third base because he's got 61 fielding. I think Eddie Matthews is literally just as bad. 73 fielding, but uh, he doesn't have a first base. No, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a first base secondary. So we're going to put Vlad to bat second. You know, I'll probably do a Papa and Son batting lineup. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no idea this was named Ricky Henderson Field. All right, we get to be home and play in Toronto and play on All-Star. I haven't played on All-Star in a little bit, so I'm, I'm ready to have a little fun. We got Clayton on the mound versus Hal Newhouser. Not a, not a bad lineup, all right, so we, that's it. We don't face bad lineups anymore. You know what? I, I'm going to need your opinions. I think I'm, I'm going to start up a series, and it's going to be unranked. It'll be fun as long as we play decent teams. But the way the rank system is, it doesn't allow me to do that. Because essentially what I kind of want to do, dude, you've played a lot of games. You've played a lot of games. Like, you need to find something else to do 
It, it, unless you're a streamer or like do this daily, you've got to go outside, kid. So what I was saying is I kind of want to build up, a, 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 do something like, a, you know, Road to Glory or whatever, where you're constantly, you know, depending on how you do on the game, you get to level up the team and whatnot. But if I already, like I started off at 650 rank, so like that's what, 250 points away from... 250 points away from World Series, it's like, then the Road to World Series is not really a Road to World Series every season because you're, you're, you're like already really high up. Also, since I am in a new room and I have a new setup and like the walls are in a different spot, although I do have carpet, so that kind of helps with sound. Also, let me know how bad of an idea is it that my computer's on the floor on carpet. But I'll have to find out if, one, it's picking up my fan noise, it's picking up my PlayStation noise. Which it shouldn't because it's all behind my microphone. I, I, I just need to, I just really hope that everything is perfectly fine in my first time recording here. That, that's all I want. Oh, it does feel good. I have been playing like moments and stuff. Uh, and that's been fun, but like I haven't played a game in about a week. And honestly, it, it actually feels low key kind of good. Uh, it was, bro. I get that it's Ichiro, but bro, already? I had him in a in a one, two count. I gotta be better than that. That pitch was supposed to nearly hit him. Just late, be great. Shut up! Don't you dare add that into the game. We're pissed about that. He wasn't even late. What does that even mean, Vaskersion? He literally wasn't late. He squared that bitch up. I'm not making the same mistake with that slider. I'm definitely going fastball up and in. Dude, I'm already down 2-0. It's a beautiful start to the season. It's going to be a good season. I already know it. Bloop single to Ichiro. Slider down and in to try out for a home run. And of course, with one of my most reliable pitchers and like... I'm already at, what, 20 pitches? I think I saw 17 out of the corner of my eye. So, again, my reasoning for the Cody Bellinger. Oh, dear God. Did he just muscle that? I dare you. Dude, I'm too smart. I'm too smart, you idiot. How dare you? So, as I was saying, and as we lead it off with a... Chill, 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 chill. Oh, Vlad's first at bat. Let's go, baby. Oh, if we tie this up on one at bat. Bro. So here is my thinking as we foul that off with, with Cody Bellinger. I get it. He's the first, first best first baseman in the game. That card is absolutely disgusting. It looks really good. The only thing is that first basemans are... I don't want to say a dime a dozen because obviously he's, he's elite. He's top. He's the best. Um... But there's a lot of, no way, no way. But like I have Vlad Guerrero Jr. at first base for not nearly as many stubs, 300 something stubs to lock in a couple cards that I'm not going to be using in the future. I just don't agree with it, especially with like a free Frank Thomas. So if you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, you should at Jerry World, I went to see Avengers uh, Endgame for the second time. So anyways, about 10 minutes into the movie, the screen flashes and the lights turn back on. And yeah, I'm dropping under anything. And yeah, the, there was a fire alarm and went off and everyone got evacuated and I didn't finish seeing the movie. Luckily for me, I've already seen the movie because if that happened during the good stuff, I'm not going to spoil anything, but during good stuff of that movie and it was my first time watching it, I'd be fucking livid. Good pitching so far after giving up a home run. Not a great spot. As soon as I open my mouth every fucking time. The boy. Easy scoop. No need for all that. But let's go. Follow me on twitch.tv slash jivvyworld. I'm no longer afraid to say that word. I don't care. Demonetize me. Close my channel, YouTube. You will not. You will not terrorize me. You will not win. Twitch.tv slash JimmyWorld. Link will also be in the description along with all my social medias, which haven't been there all year because I don't give a fuck anymore. Plain and simple. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> I thought that was going to hang up too long. I love All Star so much. It's, it's just, it's more fun. It is more fun. It's just fun. It's just more fun on All-Star. That bit went way gone. Yo, we're back in this game. I'm going deep with Willie Mays, bro. I'm going deep. Line out to right field last. First at bat, hit by pitch. I'll take a base hit up the middle. It's not going deep, but I'll take a base hit up the middle. Get 
The thing about it is I, I have my pitcher up next, dude. Do I want to take Clayton Kershaw out? It's the seventh inning. I don't have anybody warming up. I literally don't have anyone warming up. But I do have the bullpen for it, and I do need the runs. So Nolan Arenado. Let's go! We'll take the lead, boys. It paid off to go to the bullpen or to the bench. Come up, I dare you. Francisco, turn on one. Frankie Lador. Oh, no way you're catching that. Oh, no way you're catching that. That people are way gone. Right. Sweat time. No. And we got Frank Thomas. All right, this ain't going to be easy. But I'm confident. Oh, that caught too much plate. I thought I, I thought I threw it good. God damn it, I lost focus. A Mookie Betts walk off. I'd be okay. I'd be okay with anyone. Anyone at this point can walk it off. I don't want to play. I gotta take a shit, dude. You're about due to do anything. Like you're a 99 overall, like God. Who does not hit in this game? Not that you don't hit. You just don't hit enough. And of course, it's off the fucking wall. I'll take. I'll take a three. I'll take triple. I think there's two outs, but I'll take it. I need, oh, I need one. I need one. Front, come on, Pudge. Yeah, baby, we're in his head. This is walk-off, baby. You should walk me. Let's go, baby. I'll take it. That's a walk-off. Finally, I can go take a shit. Hey, once again, GG to my opponent. That was a pretty good game. I was, that was a fun game, I'll say that. Black Girl Jr. in his debut. I think he went one, two for five with a blue single. Uh, I'll take it. I had like 25 people coming to the room while I was recording and that really threw me off and i almost gave up the game but i'm just too good um anyways if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit the like button or i'm coming for your puppies uh let me know down below who you guys want to see like i said go through the shop uh i don't know i don't know whoever you guys want to see i'm about to sell this black is 150k i want my stubs back um like just for now I, I i don't know who i want in places i'm gonna keep trying different cards you guys let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace